I Mr. actually like it. Singh, you know, Mr. V. N. Gadgil, the late V. N. Gadgil, wrote an essay on secularism which appeared to mildly question Jawaharlal Nehru's version of secularism. And for that, Gadgil was attacked and he was marginalized within the Congress party because everyone in the Congress party wants to be more loyal than the king. So there, there's a no, fine uh, line I there. Think, but I can... I, I, I can tell you that I have, I am a living example. I have written several pieces where my view does not synchronize and is not identical, is therefore different from that of the Congress. But obviously, I don't go around bashing for the sake of bashing. And I, I think it's right. You cannot, you can do that if you go outside the system. But you can't be in part of the system and then indulge your fancies about bashing. In that case, you need to choose. In so the, I think in that it's a question of balance, right. and we are discussing very abstract, abstract things. But 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 the, but the yeah. point is, Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad. How will new ideas emerge? You know, if, if people have to toe the party line always and repeat orthodoxies all the time, then how will new thinking come? How will, say, a, a, a possible new way of looking at Jinnah or a new way of looking even at Hindutva? Because ultimately Jinnah is about Hindutva. Jinnah is about the BJP's relationship with Pakistan and Muslims. How will a new formulation emerge if you're going to stifle dissent and stifle disagreement? Well, Sagarika, there are two ways of looking at it. If just one thing is just one thing today, which makes my good friend Sagarika discuss about him, he is there because he is the BJP leader, which made him a national international figure. You cannot segregate the two. That's first thing. Second, I again told you he wrote that call to honor, which caused a lot of embarrassment. Let us not repeat that. But did we disown him? Did we reprimand him? We did not. We believe, unlike Mr. Gargill, and by the way, just note Sagarika, any congressman who has criticized emergency has been shown the door in spite of the Congress party disowning the legacy of emergency. That is beside the point. Let me ask you a fundamental question. When we say the core belief, today if a labor or conservative political leader in England writes a book that Hitler was a great man and Churchill ought to have gone in alliance with him and balkanized Europe between Germany and England, the party will dissociate that book mm -hmm. and maybe the leader will have to face action. Okay. What I am trying to say is there is certain fundamental core belief. Jinnah was the biggest architect of India's division. Sardar Patel was an architect of India's unity. India is one nation, not a collective of nationality. But Mr. Ravi Shankar Prasad... Muslims are equally secure but, in but India. But if you, if you read, if you read yeah. Jaswan Singh's book, I, I'm, I'm not sure whether he's actually assaulting core beliefs to the extent that you think he is, which may have emerged from the media, but the book really is not doing it. But let's take a short break and come back with lots more on Face the Nation.